Yes. Are there any situations where we can use our electrical thinking when it comes to the we constantly using analytical analytical mind in situation and in circumstances. But analytical thinking, there are two. One is constructive, one is deconstruct. So you can't deconstruct religion <laughs> because you 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 have that analytical mind to construct, to make it more firm, to make it more refreshed, more affirm what you already have, more clear. That's good. But the one that we don't want is that to have this analytical, analytical think, thinking, then you destroy what you have, which is more deconstruct rather than construct. You see? So when we talk about constructive, we're talking about analytical mind, we're talking about to analyze something in the way that to build, not to destroy. Yes, because, because when you're dealing with the source, if you use the tool, the ability to criticize, a critical thinking, that ability to criticize and to, to have critic to something that absolute truth, then you're in problem. Then there's no limitation now which is most people in the West use that tool, that ability towards everything, no limit, no limit. Then they end up, look, everything, everything's relative, relative reality, now. everything's possible now. Because no limitation. So we can see anyone that practice that reality, they become that. Then we ask ourselves, is that what you want to become? Like that? Of course you don't, because <clears throat> now everything is possible. Women and women can marry, men and men can marry. All this derived from that, <laughs> you know, excessive, no limit of to criticize everything. They, criti they criticize their tradition and break down everything. Then everything is possible now, isn't it? So you ask yourself, is that what you want to be? Then if is that what you want to be, then you follow that then. If you don't want to be that, then ask yourself who you want to be. So which means to criticize something, there are places that you can use that tools. But when come with the source, when come with that the origin, the the greater, the, the source, the origin, the creator, you see this is not the place to criticize anymore because the purpose of that criticism is to to get you to that best and best and better and better yes that's why you criticize them isn't it because you want to get more better more better but then we look at the people that have criticize their own tradition, then they end up nowhere. You see, because you can see what happened already. That you can take as a sermon. You can take heed as a lesson to yourself. Now look, these people have criticized their tradition. Look what happened to them. What happened? There's no moral, there's no etiquette, there's nothing. You see? Then it become, you know, it become something that unpleasant to be. So is that what you want? So which means, in necessity, there are points that you stop to criticize them. You see, when come with belief in that absolute oneness of God, this is not the place to criticize when come to deal with look look at the look at the quantum physics nature even they themselves when come to that you know how the the atom behave when they look at the atom is a is a time for them just to oh my god you can't go any further because 
the tools of intellect, there's limitation. But the tools of accept, belief, surrender, that take you further. And you have more inspiration through that tools. Because not, not everything you can intellectualize, not everything you can understand through intellectual calculation. If I say this water is so sweet, no matter from the, from, from the evening until morning I give you explanation how sweet it is, you can't feel it. Unless you move from there to come here and drink it. Now, you see? So now for you to get that experiential, you can't get to the intellectual. It's a limitation there. So not everything you can use your, your intellect. There's some circumstances, some other tools that you use within your ability. And the purpose of all that is to, to become advanced, to progress, to move forward. There's no point to use the, the tools like if you have a screwdriver is to use to open certain thing. You can't use for everything. You spoil it. So the intellect is good, but they have its limitation. See? That's why Newtonian physics have limitation. But now you have the quantum physics been rising up. So now you have different opinion now. Even among themselves, you're seeing different things. You see? And most of them that so arrogant before now has backed up and said, you know what? As much as we know, as much as more we don't know. You see? They're humble now. When you see these, these people speak, oh my God, it's humble now. You see? It's amazing to see that. Yes, they never say, don't see a God. Say intelligent being. You see, don't mention God. But there is intelligent being. But not God. You see? So, you know, they're coming to terms of saying certain things. And all some of them will say, maybe this is what the religious people is talking about God. Maybe. See? So some of them have come to that terms. But Newtonian mindset is a bit difficult because they're very black and white. You see? Because we, you know, how many years, 300, 400 years, been bombarded at the top level of Newtonian physics? You see? So the open of this quantum physics is open up the eyes that people begin to talk differently now. There's now it's cropping up in, in the West of this new age spiritualism that rising up you see now they're running to yogis and buddhis but not islam terrorists you see so you know people are catching up with that reality isn't it so you know you can criticize but up to what limit then isn't it at the end of the day the purpose of you criticize something to bring out the best but if that you criticize, bring up the worst, then it does not serve the purpose of that criticize. 